you have one of these Chevrolet direct injection motors that's running rich and can be thrown catalytic converter codes. This one actually has just catalytic converter efficiency codes. There's no uh, fuel trim codes, nothing. And uh, I drove it and the fuel trims are extremely rich at idle. I've seen this a lot on these uh, trucks. You drive them for a while, get the motor nice and hot, and um, see what happens is the high pressure fuel pump leaks fuel into the crankcase and it gets mixed up with the engine oil a little bit and as you increase the temperature of the engine it starts to, to you know boil the fuel out of that oil and it gets sucked up through the PCV hose and the easiest way to tell that this is happening is go drive it get it fully warmed up and then hold it at a uh, you know two to three thousand rpm and in, in park to get that uh, the fuel pressure up on the high pressure fuel pump to potentially leak as much fuel as you can into the crankcase and the fuel trims will be about normal at that rpm but then when you go back down to idle and your intake manifold vacuum increases it'll be sucking up in any of the fumes in the crankcase and so right now you have the i have the pcv hose taken off the intake here and a little cap stuck on there that way I can test to see if the fuel trims change and it's pretty drastic how quick it will change here on this one it changes very drastically some of them aren't aren't as obvious you can look at this long-term fuel trims perfect short-term perfect now I'm going to turn the truck off I'm gonna connect the PCV hose back up and this helps to run it a little while with this thing capped off that way it gives the uh, vapors in the crankcase time to build up so you have enough stored in there to really affect those fuel trims because this shouldn't affect fuel trims at all or it should not make them go negative there should be no fuel in that crankcase Okay, let's give it a little bit of time here to start reading data. There it goes. Way negative from all those fuel vapors inside the crankcase. The other way I've been able to tell this, it's a little... Uh, a little dangerous but if the crankcase has enough positive pressure in there to where when you pull this oil cap off you have the blow by you know that'll be blown out of here this one has no blow by at all but some of the direct injection motors they do have a decent amount of blow by and you can take that off and take yourself a little map gas torch or whatnot and just hold it there and i've had one literally shoot flames out of the valve cover up to like here um, and so I had to stick the oil cap on very uh, quickly to get those flames to go back down so if you're gonna do that just make sure that there's nothing in the way that the you know is blowing those those fuel vapors out of there it could be very dangerous because there was one I couldn't easily get to the PCV hose I think this one had uh, the one I was working on direct injection the PCV valve was like built into the intake. It had like a orifice or something. There was some reason I had to do it that way, but that is another way that you can test for fuel vapors in the crankcase. We uh, and and I've seen this on on the Fords, the 3.5 EcoBoost. I've done lots of them on these Chevrolets, um, mainly the uh, GMs. But any direct injection motor where the high pressure fuel pump is driven from the camshaft, you could have this problem. And when you pull the pump, you can't really tell that the seal is leaking, um, but, but it is. And when you change that pump, make sure to change the oil with it, or else your fuel trims will, will continue to be rich for uh, quite some time as the fuel will still be in the oil. And this one does not have like a high oil level. The dipstick, it's, it's only about maybe a quarter inch above 
above uh, full. So I've never really been able to tell with the oil level to see uh, if it's got fuel in it or how thick the viscosity is. It doesn't seem to affect it that much. So apparently it doesn't take much fuel in the oil to have this problem.